Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress technology and it, WordPress technology, <laughs> WordPress tutorials, uh, WordPress tutorials, that's what we do here. We're back with a third video on the 2020 theme, uh, which I just released the overview video yesterday, and today I thought well, maybe we'll dive into some of the more nitty gritty of the theme, like some of the fun things, creating the content, designing the content, just some of the things that you might not know right out of the gate. Uh, 2020 doesn't have like this showcase gallery thing yet happening, right, where you could see all kinds of variations of the theme, maybe something .org and team would, uh, would want to do in the future. But let's just look at the thumbnail that 2020 gives you. And you might be thinking, well, this is what attracted me. It was this, you know, centered big title with this block in the middle that is uh, sort of the black with the, with the pink highlighting. And then it's just these obscure images below. And maybe that's because that uh, blog post promotion isn't really something that is a core uh, or post uh, grids aren't something that are part of the core uh, uh, essence of this theme yet, but I'm going to show you how to do some of that stuff today. So let's just go right into the page that I already have set up, uh, and it's called Welcome to My Homepage, and I'm trying to create what that thumbnail is, which might attract you uh, to using the theme in the first place, aside from the fact that it shipped with your version <laughs> of WordPress that just updated uh, last night. So one of the things I set up was a group, and I'm going to rebuild this uh, on the fly, but let's just take a look at the block navigation. So I created a group first, and I set that to wide width, and then, whoops, let's go back to wide width, and then from within that group, I set up three columns. Now, you'll notice right here, I can't see the buttons. <laughs> There's a little bit of a bug still happening, uh, but the good news is that they did fix the full width cover template uh, in the more recent versions, but let me just go ahead and clear that color so you can see it or so we can at least see the, the elements we're clicking on here. Um, click on columns. You can see I have the columns here, three columns set up. You know, you can make this any amount of columns you want, but in that demo, it shows it as, as three. And for the headings of each column, I'm using the actual heading block, and I'm setting that to an H5, so you can kind of see here, I click in here, this is the address. Uh, I can set it to an H5. I can go a little bit lower, which is an H6, maybe an H4. Really can play around with that. And again, there's no set template to this stuff. I am just uh, basing this off of you know what I see in that screenshot. And then for the address and the subtext of these columns, I'm just using the regular paragraph uh, block. So I could just type in anything here. If I needed to link it, I could do that. Uh, you know, you can sort of just play around with uh, the possibilities there. So uh, in that screenshot, it shows it, I think I get rid of it, but in that screenshot, it shows it with that solid color. If I click back on to the group, I can change my background color. I can do black and it sort of just switches those colors for you. But again, the issue here is uh, I don't think the UI is caught up with uh, the contrast effects uh, of that. So when I switch it to black, it goes black on white, so you can see that. Um, and if I wanted to go and switch it to a different color, uh, let's say the gray, that's what it looks like. The the very bold pinkish red color. Uh, what happens if I pick a custom color? If I just go blue, eh, it doesn't really switch it to white or anything. So you can see you can kind of play with that. Uh, and that's that... Uh, new group block, which if you've already, already been using the Gutenberg plugin up until this point, kind of already seen that before, but if this is your first time with a new version of WordPress, that's the Gutenberg block, group block, group block. All right, so if you remember in the thumbnail, you have that sort of block area there, and then uh, it's just these obscure images. Now, most, it, which these are the sort of the design language of the new theme, which you might have seen in your update screen, but most theme previews are going to show you a grid of content, like as to say that you could have this customized blog section of this homepage. Here's how you do it. Uh, the posts block that ships with core WordPress doesn't promote a featured image. So in this instance, uh, I am using the co blocks block called posts <laughs> and you can get it by installing the codebox code blocks plugin and adding the posts block and you can see you can just play with different variations you can do uh latest post post carousel there's things that you can do post carousel to give you the left and right um navigating uh buttons 
Uh, but here's the thing. I still couldn't make it exactly like the preview image because when I switch it to, and this is the nice thing about this particular block is you have a stacked version and a horizontal version. If I switch it to stacked, looks great. This is almost looks exactly like the preview of the theme. When I hit update and I preview, watch, it's gonna make a liar out of me. See, it doesn't stack, I mean, it just stacks it one after the other. It doesn't put them uh, side by side. And if I said, well, maybe you need to make it full width, looks great in the editor, I'm gonna hit update and preview that, it still doesn't do it. Um, so that tells me that the style, uh, there's missing styles uh, for uh, the Coblox plugin uh, and working uh, really well with the 2020 theme. So what I did is say, well, let's just make some concessions here. Let's just do the uh, stacked version and let's do it wide width instead of full width. And when we update that and preview it, you can see that here's a way to get uh, your post to the homepage. All right, now we're gonna dive into some of the post formatting things that I like about the 2020 theme. And again, a lot of this stuff carries over from the Chaplin theme, which I talked about in the previous video. Uh, and now with the templates working, I can show you a little bit more of the cool things you know, around that. Uh, part of my demos that I do is this, this is really long form 10,000 word uh, podcast guide and I just cut it down because scrolling on that is, is pretty mind boggling. But here's a blank post. This is what it looks like. Uh, just got a title. It's got a bunch of words uh, in there. And this is what it looks like by default. So your content is very nice and tight into the center. You have this featured image that sits right below the post title uh, of your post. And here it is without any real cool effects, right? That's my that's my special, uh, special word for, <laughs> for that. So first and foremost, let's take a look at the documents view and let's just look at the three different templates so now we can get a, a sense of that which i showed off in the other video but i'll do it again here so i switch this to cover view i preview this post and now you can see it takes that image that featured image it puts it on uh, sort of this big full screen effect it's the cover of the post if you will and it's using this very dramatic red which you set in the customizer um, to have this sort of blanket effect across the entire site so again the content is still very confined big cover image very cool if i switch this to full width hit update there let's preview this again removes the cover image but now it's making the content a lot more full width right as the name implies now Chaplin has a full width and cover image template, which I assume will be rolled into 2020 in the future. So I look forward to that. But you can see it gives us some room to breathe uh, with this with this post, especially if you have a lot of text on a page uh, or a post. Um, let's take a look at some of the cool formatting features that I like. So if I click on my paragraph tag, if I look over to the right hand side, I can enable a drop cap, uh, which just by switching that on, I now have the ability to have this nice big S, which starts the blog post, which is kind of cool. And if I preview that and I scroll down a little bit, you can kind of see it doesn't look that good with full width. So let's switch it back to the regular. Uh, let's just do default template for now. Update, preview looks a little bit better when it's in this sort of more reading mode, if you will, right, for a blog post. So super cool. Let's continue. So at the bottom of the introduction of this post, I have this quote uh, that I wrote. Uh, I believe everyone has a great story to tell. The question shouldn't be who will your audience be, but what will you do with an audience once you have them? Uh, what I can quickly do is turn this into a quote, and I can say, Matt Medeiros wrote that. And it has this nice little uh, vertical line that goes down the side. It's the same color uh, of this, that sort of accent color there. Uh, I think I can actually change that color. Can I not? Maybe I can't. Thought I could. No, that's just the text color. Uh, so I can't change that color there. Uh, but if I preview it again, we'll just look at it in the front end. It's really the same thing there. But you can kind of see how, you know, you've got that drop cap. You've got this quote. And uh, longer form text is starting to shape up to look a little bit nicer. But we're not done with the quotes because you can do a little bit more. You can switch this to a large quote. And it basically just gives it this really uh, larger headline uh, that you see here, headline uh, or header. Uh, uh, font style, um, but that's not all. We can also switch this uh, to a pull quote, which gives it an even sort of 
nicer touch to it, a nicer design. It's got the little quote, uh, quotation mark up top. And if we preview that, you know, these are little nuances that you can uh, stylize your blog post with. So just a nice little touch there. It's got a nice little quote design. It doesn't have that circle in the editor. Um, so you don't really notice that. And I don't know if I really love that circle, but still rather nice uh, to break up your content. Speaking of breaking up content, images is a huge thing. And covers, sorry for all the scrolling, covers is a great way to do that. So if I want to break up my sections uh, in between the end of this paragraph into the next section, I'm going to add a cover. And I'm going to pick something from the old media gallery. You don't have much in here. Let's try this one. I'm going to say, whoops, I'm going to say, welcome to the new section. And by default, it sort of just sits right in the center there. There's nothing dramatic. I can go wide width. So let's preview that. So wide width, you can see it's just sits outside of the content, uh, the confines of the content a little bit. But if I go full width and I can select uh, with the focal point where I want that to sort of be positioned, I can give it an overlay if I want, and I can bring out that, or I can lower that opacity, uh, which is really cool. Uh, I don't really need to crop anything, but I could if I wanted to. And do I want to remove top spacing? No, that doesn't really matter there. But you can see, whoa, I zoomed in. Let's, let's zoom back out. We don't need to zoom in, but that's a pretty cool effect. <laughs> uh, and then what I'm going to do is select fixed background. Let's update that. Let's preview that. And as we scroll past this cover, you can see with that fixed background, it sort of gives that effect like I'm going through the photo with the headline staying right in the center, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. I like that effect on this theme as well. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. And I'm going to add some photos here. Oops. Let's just do images. Let's do gallery. Let's pick from everything I have, which isn't much, but we'll do this, create a new gallery, insert the gallery. And I'm gonna say the same thing. Um, we can go wide width here, which is really cool. We can do number of columns. So we can do something like that, where it sort of stacks uh, that third one right below it. Um, we have links, we can link it out and things like that, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna hit update and we're gonna preview that. So there's our cover. Here's what it looks like with uh, some images thrown in the mix there to break up our content. Again, really like it. It's a nice touch, especially if you're a blogger. This is this is really a good theme, um, and it's going to really help a lot of people who just want to use WordPress as a blog. Uh, and last but not least, I will just use a table uh, because tables are are pretty good if you're presenting a lot of data. Uh, it just looks really nice in this theme. Again, when you can set things to this wide width, uh, it really brings the attention onto, you know, that, that particular breakpoint. So I might just say, say something like data one, and I'm just going to copy this. I don't have the time or the patience <laughs> to fill out all of that content there. Uh, and you can do some things, right? You can add in header sections. You can add in footer sections to the table. I really like the table for whatever reason, uh, when you start to do talk about things with lots of content in it and preview that. Scroll down to our table. So you can see it's just it's just a nice approach to, a, to presenting a lot of data. Again, that's what tables, I guess, are all about. I'm not, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but just making it look pretty good uh, in this theme. And it's a great way to break up long form content if you can use a table. So that's it. I mean, that's some of the things we talked about building out the, uh, the homepage that makes it look like the thumbnail. We talked about making blog posts look pretty good with a nice little drop cap. You can do pull quotes. You can do regular quotes. You can do cover images with inside of your content. You can set up galleries that expand beyond the content area to make that look good. And then lastly, you can maybe drop in a table or two, uh, depending on what kind of content you have available to you. 2020. Let me know in the comments below. Are you enjoying it? Are you doing other things with long form content in this theme? Leave us a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. We'll see you. Well, we'll see you in the next video.